Are you sure you want to open the freezer? Really? Yes, yes, I want to open the space freezer. Oh, it was steaks, kind of, it's still alive. It's a furious bullman. Somebody clearly wanted this guy to cool it. He screams that his name is Derek. Something about his dick-shaped arms just doesn't scream Derek to me. What's up guys, welcome to Planet Life. A game where you play as a sentient planet who has a mystery deep inside of yourself where you can't see or reach it. And to figure things out, you need to explore the universe and find life to inhabit your surface that'll help you, but not harm you. And as we all know, intelligent life isn't exactly the best thing for planets. <laughs> so don't get your hopes up on this mystery. There's a strong possibility that we're gonna end up a molten dust ball in space by the end of this video. Uh, hello? It's all totally dark here. Is anything here at all? No. Wait, something is here. Something's answering me. <laughs> hey look, a beautiful planet appeared. Is that you? Yes. That's pretty cool. Being a planet must be so exciting. No, not really. You just kind of float around. I haven't exactly been a planet for long. You're so big and round and full of life. And why do you gotta call me big and round, okay? I'm just holding a little water weight right now. This atmosphere, it's thick, it makes me look fat. Oh, what's that? There's no life on your surface? Well, that figures. You were only just created in that big explosion before. But don't worry about it. There's probably plenty of life out in the universe. Okay, but who's talking to me? If I was only just created in the Big Bang, who was speaking before that? Is that you, God? Why don't you go take a look? Okay, I guess we're just gonna go explore for some life. <laughs> There's something out there in the distance. It's a poop asteroid. Yep, that's a space turd. You reach the huge potato-shaped chunk of asteroid. Yeah, that's putting it nicely. <laughs> Nothing is there except for a small robot. So, should we leave, or should we talk to the robot? I don't know if I should have robots inhabiting me. Like, on one hand, they might be smart enough not to destroy the planet that's sustaining them. But on the other hand, that floating dookie could have been a planet before the robots got to it. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna talk to the robot. It's lonely out here. The robot seems happy to see you. It says that it was just enjoying the sunshine and that its name is Burger. <gasps> Burger the Space Poop Robot! Oh my god, I love you. It tells you that it can't remember much of anything since all of its memory was on a USB stick, and somehow it has gotten that USB stick misplaced. How unfortunate. Will we take Burger with us, or will we leave Burger on the asteroid? We are clearly taking Burger with us. Get on my surface. <laughs> Burger chirps happily as he softly lands on your surface. Okay. Please don't self-replicate and take over. I don't know, Burger could be evil. <laughs> you are a beautiful little planet hanging out in a cozy little solar system. Oh, we can see our surface. So that's what I look like down there. On your surface, there are beautiful lush forests and vast oceans. Burger is chirping through the forests. <laughs> oh, this is just delightful. So we go back to space, we can talk to Burger, or we can build a workshop. Shack you need to build before you can build everything else. Oh, uh, what? Burger's gonna industrialize me? I need wood to do that. Let's talk to Burger. Burger is happy to see you. It tells you that it can in fact be quite productive. What do you want Burger to do? He can tell me a secret. He can chop wood or he can dig for gold. Oh. There's resources, and we need to exploit the resources inside of ourselves so that we can further the advancement of the people on us to uncover the mystery. This is going to be a really weird balance of don't destroy me, but take just enough to figure stuff out. Why don't you tell me a secret, Burger? I'm curious how you got your name or where you come from. Psst, Burger is telling you a secret. The asteroid is actually a giant Cocoa Pops. What a revelation. Burger, do you think I was born yesterday? Do you think I'm a fool? But just because you call space poop cereal doesn't mean I'm gonna eat it. Well, I guess if you're gonna be living on me rent free and telling blatant lies, then we might as well put you to work. I'm gonna have you chopping wood. 
You chop one wood per second, but don't chop too much wood, okay? Do not screw this up, burger, so help me God. If you deforest my ass, I am going to be pissed. I'll fly into the sun. I I'll do it. I'm, I'm a spiteful planet. <laughs> so now that we're accumulating wood, we should be able to build a workshop. That should open things up. In this workshop, you can build anything. As long as it's one of the few options below, of course. <laughs> so we can upgrade our axe. We get a fragile gold drill. A slot machine. Or a house for friends. So just to be clear, my fourth invention in history is gambling? <laughs> Are we going to be a casino planet? Because I'm fine with that. I suppose we could upgrade Burger's axe a little bit. You would expect him to be using, like, laser saws or something like that. He's a robot <laughs> instead of a clumsy axe, but that's fine. Now he's chopping three wood per second, doing a good job manscaping for me. So now maybe there's something else going on out in space? Yeah, let's keep exploring. Uh... <laughs> you see a small object in the distance. Is it a flying saucer? With a tiny gnome-like guy sitting in it, smiling. Oh. <laughs> so just to be clear, we have poop asteroid robots and space gnomes. I hate gnomes. Let's check it out. Space Ben is sitting in his space shop, looking at you. Do you want to buy something? Do you? It depends. What do you got? What are you charging? He's got a star map. Somebody drew with space ink on this old piece of paper. It's supposed to show the way to someplace cool. Okay, we'll keep that in mind. And, oh, we found, uh, we found a lot of memory. Burger said that he lost a USB stick. He didn't say that he lost three. Perhaps it's full of secrets. So we've got red, green, and orange, all of which cost a lot of resources that I don't have. Okay, I don't go anywhere. J just hang out with your creepy six fingers, you terrifying little beast. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. Maybe there's somebody else on the asteroid? Oh. Oh, it actually is a Cocoa Pop, and I can build an automatic swirly straw because the Cocoa Pops are one of my resources. Okay, I have to apologize to Burger. Apparently, he isn't a liar. Burger and I have reconciled our differences, and now I have him mining for gold. He's also got news. Burger tells you that it has found a strange valley while working. It seems to be riddled with ancient dungeon entrances. Yeah, you might want to show me that. Is that like a, a planet pimple? You randomly notice it? Like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> it's a valley full of dungeons, leading into you. You'll need somebody to go down there because you obviously can't, so that's the mystery. I've got dungeons leading to my insides, and let me guess, Burger, you don't want to go in a dungeon? Oh, you have good news now. Was that bad news? <laughs> Burger seems in a particularly good mood today. Burger have moods? It shows you a handful of some glittery stuff. It's stardust. Burger tells you that it won it in a slot machine. <laughs> I haven't even built a slot machine. Where did you where did you find a slot machine? What? Okay, you should give it a try. Yeah, all right, give me Stardust. Thank you. You just keep mining that gold. Wh where was the slot machine? Don't know what to use your gold for? Now you can use your gold to win even more gold. If you're lucky, you might even win some stardust. So I can build a slot machine for myself, I guess, and I just kind of came with dungeons and slot machines, maybe. I could also buy a house for friends. If you want anybody living on you, they need some place to live. That sounds important, and it only costs wood, so we'll build a house. You don't have any friends yet. Sad. Very sad. Again, who's who's talking? Why do you always gotta rub it in? Hello, my creepy little space gnome friend. I've returned to buy your star map. You bought a very mystical star map. Attempt to read it? Oh yeah, I can read a star map. No problem, I'm a planet. You found a freezer floating in space. That's disappointing. I didn't really want space ice cream. 
or space steaks? I don't know what's frozen in there. Check it out. Are you sure you want to open the freezer? Really? Yes, yes, I want to open the space freezer. Oh, it was steaks, kind of. It's still alive. It's a furious bullman. Somebody clearly wanted this guy to cool it. He screams that his name is Derek. Something about his dick-shaped arms just doesn't scream Derek to me, and that he is really cold and really pissed. However, he joins your space quest. I don't remember inviting you, Derek, but okay. So he's just coming along. Very good. Uh, Derek? What you doing? My Yoshi Egg House is telling me that I still don't have any friends. Which still hurts, but has me asking, where did Derek go? Uh, oh, I can probably send him down in the dungeons. Okay, so you're gonna help me with that. Derek can't wait to go see what's down those dungeons. You better choose a dungeon soon. Derek is breathing heavily. Okay, just slow your roll, Derek. I don't just let any strange bull inside of me. <laughs> you gotta have a little foreplay, okay? Work me up to it. How about we talk? Oh, uh, Derek's favorite places to go. Space Ben, Dungeons, or, no, just, just, just talk, that's fine. Derek yells loudly while he practices some punches. He explains that he is allowed to go home only after beating the toughest, most endless dungeon there is. Such a dungeon is said to exist in the belly of a monstrous creature. That hurts. <laughs> Derek wipes away some spare froth from his mouth. Great. So we've got a mad bull. All right then, uh... Maybe we should just ask Burger. <gasps> Burger? What is this? You can tell that Burger knows a great deal about dungeons. Burger carefully chirps a warning. It is important to have Derek properly educated. Really? <gasps> Before going into the dungeon, the poor bull might die. And it is said that only Stardust will bring him alive again. Honestly, you get quite tired of listening after a while. Yeah, Burger, you're starting to get on my nerves. Okay, so we'll just go to the shallow dungeon, the juicy dungeon. Let's go. Derek is on level one of 10 of this dungeon. Derek's health is like 50 out of 50. Roundabout, we're just gonna guesstimate by looking at him. <laughs> there are two doors. Which one will Derek enter, the boring door or the small present door? That's not even a real question. Let's go with small present door. So, dude, this is level one of 10. There's around 17 jerks in this room. That's concerning. I'm full of jerks. I'm totally gonna wreck them, by the way. Also, my health is like 50 out of 50 right now, but I'm cool. Fight them. Okay, I felt that. Uh, Derek? I'm so pumped! I beat up 17 jerks. My health is like 27 out of 50 right now, but I'm cool. Okay, wow. It looks like there's a present. Oh, oh yeah, open present. Thank you. Just a little present. 150 wood. Well, well. Uh, enough of that childish present opening business. More dungeon! Go deeper. Oh, Derek, no, don't go deeper. It's my first time. Derek is on level 2 of 10 of this dungeon. Derek's health is 27 out of 50. There are two doors. Which one did Derek enter? The Coco door or the small present door? Ooh. I want another small present. He did all right on the last one. So, dude, this is level 2 of 10. There's around 20 jerks in this room. All right, fight him. You got this. I believe in you, Derek. Use those dickish arms. I'm so pumped. I beat up 20 jerks. Health is 8 out of 50. Okay, give me my present. Hopefully it's... Stard oh, one Stardust. I was gonna say, Stardust seems rare, but well, well. I can't leave. I don't, I don't wanna go deeper, no deeper, it's hurting. Oh, I can leave. Okay, good. But there's a mystery door. Mmm, uh, mystery door. Okay, it's wood. Let, let's go, you, you got this. There's only 22 jerks, you're so dead, Derek. I'm sorry. I'm really, I'm Derek, y'all right? Derek? <laughs> He's dead. We're gonna have to waste our stardust to save him. Well, easy come, easy go. I think that's enough beating stuff up for now, Derek. We're just gonna <laughs> go do something else. We've got a bunch of gold, we want a little wood. I'm gonna get Burger to switch over to chopping wood again. And maybe we can go to Asteroid? 
and start mining here. Okay, yeah, you can suck those cocoa pops. <laughs> One cocoa per second. These resources seriously confuse me. Like, I can understand that lumber is probably the most valuable building material, and that gold is probably the most economically valuable material, but cocoa pops are such a mediocre cereal. <laughs> Shots fired at cocoa pops, I guess. I don't know. I'm, I'm kooky for mining cocoa pops. <laughs> We're gonna build an even bigger straw. How about that? So now we've got some hardcore cocoa pops coming. We can only get gold or wood. That's a problem. I, I need another burger. You got a sister? Is she hot? Oh, this is interesting. So if we return to the convenience gnome, it looks like now we can buy steroids for Derek. I mean, health potions. You gotta keep it on the down low. I'm sure there's probably space police out there somewhere. <gasps> I don't think I really want to do that right now. I want to buy another star map because we might be able to find more people, if you want to call them that. I'm still hoping Burger has a sister or a mom, maybe. You bought a very mystical star map. Attempt to read it? Oh, yeah. You found something very stupid looking. That's not very nice. I gotta ask, is that a poop planet? <laughs> Let's check him out. The rather stupid looking planet is avoiding eye contact with you. After the initial shyness, it offers to trade. After all, it's not every day you meet a fellow planet. Cool. Oh, I can buy resources from you. Okay, so if I wanted to buy like 100 woods, you want 25 gold or 100 Cocoa Pops. That's not a bad deal. We can also build Derek's Dungeon School. <laughs> want your Derek to get any better? Education is the only way to go. I'm not really going to invest in cow education right now. I would much rather gamble. <laughs> so we could try our luck at the slot machine. You might win some gold. You might even win some stardust. Costs, ooh, a lot of gold. Screw it. Go for it. We're going with the big one. Was that a uh, bust? Did, that... Did it just explode? Did I get nothing? <laughs> it was just an animation and, and nothing happened. Let's try again. Okay. I got a medium present, open it. If I don't get at least 60, I got a thousand wood. 60 gold for a thousand wood's probably all right. I'm still kind of upset, what about a small one? I think that's a you lose, god damn it. It is gonna take a long friggin' time for us to accumulate some resources, so I'm gonna try to work with Derek. All right, I caved, I built his school. Welcome to the school of Derek. That bull might look primitive, but you can teach him a few odd tricks. In the classroom or the gym? What can I teach a bull in the classroom? You know, technically he's a minotaur, I guess. Kind of. Oh! I can teach him abilities like bull fart, thirsty, and door of regrets. <laughs> what exactly is bull fart? I, I mean, what's the point of bull fart? I know what a bull fart is. Uh, Derek ate something rotten. Bullfarts have been known to clear the room on more than one occasion. Derek does not yet know how to do this. You better teach him by buying this skill and it costs 400 gold. Are you kidding me? In what world am I going to spend 400 gold coins to make a bull fart? <laughs> not my world, I'll tell you that much. How about thirsty? Teach Derek to become so thirsty that he will try to find health potions in desperation. Okay. So he's going to look around, see if he can find some. We could afford that. That might be a good idea. We're going to make him thirsty. He looks like some kind of weird rat. Cool. <laughs> so we got that door of regret. It's very embarrassing to enter the wrong door. Teach Derek to make a graceful exit. So we won't humiliate himself. Okay, so if we go through a door that ends up being way more than we bargained for, we get a veto. That sounds pretty good. I think we're good to go, right? We, we might be able to try another run at the dungeons. But not before we piss away 120 go- Oh my god, again? Are you serious? That was like five minutes of gold. I'm the one who suffers here, okay? You guys just get a jump cut. You don't have to sit through this. Ah! Now quit dragging those dickish arms and get back in the juicy dungeon. You got this. We are gonna go for the boring door because there's definitely something interesting back there. Maybe. Uh, it's just seven guys. 
Okay, well, we can beat up seven guys and then you lost no health. Okay, good. Mystery door. Got a present. Got a medium present. I want the medium present. 27 jerks, murder them. Murder them all. Spit them out. Get them out of my body and I got a thousand wood. That's actually really good. Okay, deeper, deeper, I want it. Uh, small present mystery door, which is a shortcut. All right, shortcut to where? Strange, we're now on level four, so it didn't actually make us go any deeper, I don't think. <gasps> we can keep going, right? You got 76 health? Um, I want more wood. 24 jerks, yeah, you can take him. I don't even know if you can take damage off of this, Derek, you're a monster. Okay, so 24 jerks, about 20 health, very good. Get 100 wood, I'll take it, small present or a shortcut. I'm guessing if we beat the dungeon, we get to move on, so we should probably take the shortcut. If we're on five, then it just brings us to six. Oh, I guess we technically skip, right? Because we didn't have to fight anything. All right, mystery door, let's go. 25 jerks, do it. Murder them, end them, take them out, eat their faces. <laughs> Give me a small present. One stardust, not bad. Derek, you know what? You're doing a great job. We gotta get gold. Gotta do it, Derek. You're hurting though. And there's 42 jerks. Uh, we're gonna use thirsty. Okay, he didn't find anything. Great, screwed up. That's, that's bad. That's very bad. Uh, should we go through the door of regret? I believe in you. I believe in you, Derek. You can do this, Derek. Ah, oh, son of a fine. <sighs> You're disappointing me, Derek. We need more steroids. You know what, I think that's gonna be it for this episode of Planet Life, guys. And I gotta say, really cool little game. I'm amazed nobody's played this. I couldn't find any indication of people having played this on YouTube. It might have only just come out on itch.io, but it's a really neat little free game. And if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like in this video. Let me know. I would love to find out the mystery. I would love to return for one more episode with Burger and Derek and... I don't even know what my planet is called. Leave a comment with what we should call our planet. I prefer Uranus, but let me know. And thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.